Number six from the new hire specimen paper, number one, a little trig, a little compound angle formula looking question. Just the four marks. First part, quite ambiguously, it's only one mark, but you're not sure how much to put down. It says, find an equivalent expression. So, well, obviously, I will just expand it. You just look at the front, all the formulas are there, and what you would see would be this, but you'd have to watch something, but you wouldn't be penalised if you did it. It would be sine x cos 60 plus, now switch partners, cos x, sine 60. But strictly speaking, it's all in degrees. So I've got to tediously make sure I put a little degree di sign down all the time. Now, is that all they want for the one mark? Because I would look at that and think, this one, those are actually numbers, those two parts. So they can be evaluated. And I'd be tempted to do that. And then with 60 degrees, that's that triangle that you had in the previous question. So that's that 60-30 triangle. We'll just put a little sketch of it down again. That was the 1, 2, root 3 triangle. So that the cos of 60 being the adjacent side is 1 half. So that would be a half sine x. And the sine of 60 being the opposite, being the side without the angle, sine the angle, was root 3 upon 2. So plus root 3 upon 2 cos x. Is that what they want? Not sure how far to go with that one. Part B. Hence or otherwise determine the exact value of the sine of 105 degrees. Now you always used to get a wee question like this in the higher long ago on its own without any preamble. And the way you would get exact values would be by breaking the angle up into the sums or differences of ones that you know. And the ones that you know are the 30, 60, 90 and 45. So what combination can I make that up from? What could I add together? Well, the obvious one is 45 and 60, isn't it? 45 degrees and, well, don't need that in the bracket, of course, 45 plus 60 degrees. Now, I suppose, to being since I did this in the first part, that was my 60 evaluated, wasn't it? All I would have to do is replace these two with 45, and that would be the answer. Hmm. But it is three marks. And for all the time it'll take, I'll just spell it all out. But it looks as if I could just slot 45 into there, and that should do it. I'll just spell it out. So that's sine 45, cos 60, switch partners, cos 45, sine 60. Degrees, 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 degrees. It would be penalised if you didn't put them in. I already know those two answers anyway, if it's got them over here. 45 degrees, that was the other triangle, the half of the square. That was half of the equilateral triangle. This is half of a square, 1, 1 root 2. So the sine of 45 is 1 upon root 2. And I already knew the cos was a half. The cos of 45 is also 1 upon root 2. And I already knew the sine was root 3 upon 2. Now looking at the marking scheme, that was the first mark for breaking it. That was the second mark. So maybe I could just have used that result there, or this result up here. And then finally, just put it together for the last mark. Because I've got a common denominator of 2 root 2. And then that's 1 times 1 is 1. And that's 1 times root 3 is root 3. I can't make that any neater, apart from maybe rationalising the denominator. So I'll just leave that as my answer. But if it took my fancy to rationalise the denominator, it actually looks a wee bit worse, because that means multiplying everything by root 2. So that would be root 2 times 1, plus root 2 times root 3 is root 6, and root 2 times root 2 is a 2 times a 2 makes a 4. So if it was paper 2 and you put that into your calculator, your calculator would give you this.